Hi, my name is Jonathan Stern, and today we're gonna to talk about the Storage Performance Development Kit, SPDK. Right now, being in storage is sexy because there is this tidal shift from large spinning disks into solid state media. Moving into new media has unlocked a huge range of possibilities for what people can do with their storage. So hard drives really have ruled the data center, but they have a big problem. They're slow. When SATA SSDs came on the market, they were really much faster than hard drives, orders of magnitude faster. That was improved by moving to NVMe, which made the drives faster still. And now, as we've moved to this 3D crosspoint era, the drives get incredibly fast. This shift from these slow spinning disks to this incredibly fast solid state media comes with a challenge. In the era of hard disks, it didn't really matter if you had just a little tiny green bar worth of software overhead because the media itself was so slow. But as soon as we entered this solid state era, that little green bar became a bigger portion of the overall latency with these new media right around the corner. That software latency becomes a big problem. At Intel, we vitally care about people's data centers, about how fast and efficient and excellent they can be. So given that, we really wanted to put software together to make sure that when that media arrives, all the software that wants to take advantage of it can. SPDK is open source software, a set of drivers and libraries and example apps designed for maximum scalability and efficiency. They make kind of a reference architecture, but each of those things can be pulled out and used discreetly. So SPDK uses three techniques to achieve this scalability and efficiency. User space operation, locklessness, and a pulled mode driver model. Historically, the way that applications have talked to the hardware is through the kernel. And the kernel's great, but it is a middleman. It comes between the application and the hardware. As applications and the hardware that they talk to get faster and faster, that middleman starts becoming a little bit burdensome. SPDK bypasses that middleman, connecting the application directly to the hardware. You get incredibly efficient access directly from your application to the media. All of the SPDK components are designed to be lockless. If you think about a lock as really like a revolving door in an office building, you have 10,000 people who want to get in and there's only one door. What if you could just roll up the side of the building and have everyone move in at once? That's really what SPDK does. By being lockless, it makes sure that you can get all of the parallelism that's inherent in the media out. SPDK is designed around this concept of pulled mode drivers. Pulled mode drivers allow you to bypass interrupts instead of that hardware coming to you and saying, I'm done. It allows you from an applications perspective to get directly to the hardware and ask, hey, are you done yet? And that helps you get a lot more work done and only be checking for your IO when you as the application want to do it. In what we've measured already, SPDK delivers 10X improvement in software latency also delivering an equivalent amount of efficiency. By taking that latency out of every operation, you give those CPU cycles back to your application to do something more useful. SPDK is available now, and it's being updated all the time. What SPDK really does give you is some future proofing in your architecture, because the storage media transition isn't done. By taking advantage of SPDK now, you're insulated from an architectural perspective against those transitions. If you'd like to learn more about SPDK and learn what Intel is doing to lead this storage media transformation, go to spdk.io.